Let's be, let's be honest once again, you know, Chris Algieri is not a Walter Waite and he hasn't beaten a Walter Waite and he didn't get famous from beating everybody up, okay? So, was he a name? Yes. Was he an ex-champion? Yes. Now, his comment was something of the nature, uh, I hate responding on some of these, man, because why... Why has Keith Thurman been at the top of the game, but has only fought one top 10 fighter? Is that because of Keith Thurman? Are those the fights that Keith Thurman wanted for himself? The answer is no, okay? For the past several years, as soon as I got on the scene, I let the whole world know when I told Pauly Milanaji, you better not duck me, son. And yes, I was talking to him, but I was also talking to every Walter Wade. I was hungry for everybody. Am I mad at Errol Spence for being in my shoes, in my situation where I was three years ago, knowing you have the skills and the ability to be champion of the world, feel like you can take on everybody? And so what do you want to do? You want to call out the dude at the top. Who am I? But the man at the top, you know? For me, the man at the top was Floyd. What did Floyd do? Not acknowledge me. Am I going to treat Errol like that? No, I'm not going to treat Errol like that. I'm going to acknowledge the boy. You have acknowledged me. You have the right to say what you want to do. You put on a great performance. I don't care that Chris Algieri is a chump. It's about making the chumps look like a chump. Some people get in the ring with chumps and they make them look like contenders, you know? He didn't pretend. He showcased his skills and his talent on that night, and he looked great doing it. Did he fight the best in the world? No, he didn't. What did he fight? Did, did he fight anybody that's more superior than all the other ex-world champions they put me through? And, you know, Guerrero might be the only dude in the top 10, but look at the resume of ex-world champions. And then tell me how many ex-world champions you've been through. And let me know how many you put into retirement. Because I put two, baby. Would, would, you, would he have to wait, though? I mean, I'm saying if, if, if his name came up and... Tomorrow, right? Yeah. yeah. Like right, right after, no, right after you... Yeah, you tomorrow. Yeah, 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 tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now... I'm going to give you the realness, okay? Because I don't like being fake, all right? We got tons of fighters in the Walter Wade division. And we got people who have what I call spotlight priority over spent, okay? There's people on my list that's higher than him. He, like I said, is in my situation. There was once upon a time I was a bad dude. A lot of people had spotlight priority. Their names were bigger. They've been doing it longer. They were, they've already been on the scene longer than I have, and they didn't want to talk about me because they had other people that they could fight. Now, I do have other people I, I can fight. I will accomplish more by fighting some of those names. But the real thing about Errol Spence is, I think it's a fight that can happen. I don't think it's a fight that's gonna happen this year. I do think it's a fight that is worth not ducking, not dodging, but building. It is a fight worth building. And if you declare that it is not, then obviously you really don't know boxing. Who would have spiked like